Hello everyone, George here, and I've been on break, and technically I still am on break. As you can see here, the two week break has gone on for a little bit longer than two weeks, and I apologize for that. I just need a little bit more time to make sure I can create quality content for everyone out there. Don't worry, I still plan on coming back to all of the different series that are currently ongoing, including FNAF, microcontrollers, and probably even Android apps. But right now, we're gonna do a quick one-shot. At the moment, I happen to be taking a course on engineering optimization. And as a grad student in the course, I'm expected to provide a lecture, you know, an hour and 15 minute lecture on a topic not covered. And that topic is going to be genetic algorithms. And what I wanna show you here is something that I threw together in the last day or so. And oh man, the frame rate is horrible. Let's we're going to reduce this maybe down to a population of maybe just 500. That's probably a little bit better. What we have is an environment right here, and this is going to be oscillating in color, cycling through various random colors every few seconds. Like, I don't know, I think every five seconds or 10 seconds, it picks a new color. And then we have a population of, well, capsules that get spawned all over the area. And the population is going to be going through a genetic algorithm where we're going to compare the color of the capsule to the color of the, the background. So the idea is we hit run here and we'll get all of our little capsules. And I have them going through this algorithm very rapidly so you can see it. Normally I don't have it going quite so fast, but you can see that a majority of these individuals are trying to, to become the same color as the environment itself. And you'll notice there are mutations, which are these little funny guys jumping all over the place that have different colors. There's the one, they're the kind of guys that usually die. Uh, we have the mutations because if we hit a uh, sort of a global maximum where all of our capsules become one color, they lose the capacity, the ability to actually change to other colors. So having some genetic diversity uh, is incredibly important. And until I added mutations to this, it would cycle between things like black and white and red, and it would stay at that one consistent color. What I wanted to say is that this is the introductory video for us creating uh, our own genetic algorithm inside of Unity. Uh, we're gonna create this entire thing from the ground up in the next few, maybe two, three videos, depending upon how long it takes and I hope you enjoy this one shot series while you wait for some of my other series to begin again. Remember if you like it, like it. If you don't, please dislike it so I know and consider subscribing if you like this sort of thing because I always like to know that people are out there interested. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Have a good night. Bye.